saying bonfire, he says bonfire. Bonfire. Time and again he said bonfire. The other day we went to Kumrat Valley and we got the bonfire and I said by mistake bonfire. <laughs> So, uh, English ko bigarna nahi hai. Bigarding hai to adat pad jayegi, okay? Not bonfire, bonfire. Okay, section 2. Questions 11 to 14. Multiple choice questions. If you guys un make a normal face, I said multiple choice questions. <laughs> Not like this, okay? Yeah, just relax, calm down. If you understand these four questions, you will understand the core things or the mechanism of multiple choice questions. The first thing is question. And remember, in multiple choice questions, whenever you write the wrong answer, you are trapped. You've been trapped. You think some other answer is the right one and all that. And they discuss, almost they discuss all three options. Sometimes they leave out one option as well. But otherwise they discuss all three options and they discuss them in any order. It's not that A, B, C. If they only change this thing to A, B, C, you will have no trouble finding the right answer. They sometimes start with C, then A, then B. Sometimes they start with B, then A, then C. So you got to catch the option which is being discussed. After catching the option, you need to tick or cross the option and then you can reach the right one. Anyways, let's do it. Visiting the sheep market area. Now sheep market, yeah, Mandi, where people go to buy sheep, right? Which is the most rapidly growing group of residents? Underline most rapidly growing group of residents. Group of residents means type of people who live there. So rapidly growing type of people who live there. Got it? Now out of three groups, they will talk about two groups, but they are not rapidly growing. One group is actually rapidly growing in the sheep market area. A, young professional people. For young, they can use any other word. They can use graduates. For professional, they can use any other word. Students from the university. Now, if the students are living in that area, which is called sheep market, if they are most rapidly growing group, then B will be the right answer. And C, employees in the local market. Now, for instance, if they say students from the university, they come in the morning or sometimes they enjoy evening life and then they go back to their hostels. So are they the rapidly growing group? No. So just focus the word rapidly growing group of people. A, young professionals. B, students. C, employees. Okay, let's see. And please don't yell your answers. Welcome to this podcast about the sheep market which is one of the oldest parts of the city. As its name suggests, there was originally a market here where farmers brought their sheep, but now it's been redeveloped into a buzzing, vibrant area of the city, which is also home to one of the city's fastest-growing communities. The nearby university has always meant the area is popular with students who come in to enjoy the lively nightlife, but now graduates embarking on careers in the worlds of fashion and design are buying up the new apartments recently built here to replace the small houses where the market workers used to live. Well done. Now please write down a code. B A C. B A C. And what is this? Order of these options. First they discussed option B, then they discussed option A, and then they discussed option C. Correct answer is option A. Right? I'm going to play this one for you. Welcome to this podcast about the sheep market. And have you noticed one thing? His voice is not very clear. In IELTS, there are some people like that, okay? Bass voice or, you know, some old people or something like that. So he's got this bass voice. And in part two, usually there is one person talking. Sometimes there's a dialogue, but mostly it's one person talking. So if you find any uncle like this, can be difficult to understand, but anyways. Which is one of the oldest parts of the city. As its name suggests, there was originally a market here where farmers brought their sheep, but now it's been redeveloped into a buzzing, vibrant area of the city, which is also home to one of the city's fastest growing communities. The nearby university has always meant the area is popular with students who come in to enjoy the lively nightlife. Okay, students who come and enjoy the lively nightlife. Now, students are not the 
rapidly growing group of residents. I mean, they're not residents. They only come and enjoy the vibrant nightlife and go back. So B is not the right answer. You need to put a cross at the end of B. Now, please come to option A. But now graduates embarking on careers in the worlds of fashion. Uh, graduates who are embarking on the careers on, uh, on fashion. Fashion and design are buying up the new apartments recently built here. Okay, are buying up the new apartments recently built here. These fastest growing communities. The nearby university has always meant the areas popular with students who come in to enjoy the lively nightlife. But now graduates embarking on careers in the worlds of fashion and design are buying up the new apartments recently built here to replace the small houses where the market workers used to live. Okay, to replace the small houses where the market workers used to live. Employees in the local market used to live. Now they don't live there anymore. Now they have the houses and those houses are occupied by young professional people. So answer is A. This is a very good example how they twist and how they talk. Let's go on. Question number 12. Speaker recommends the side street. Now, in the audio, they will talk about side street. They will use the word main street, and then they will use the word side street. Speaker recommends the side street in the sheep market for there. Now, what is special about side street? Well done. International restaurants. If in the audio they say there are many local restaurants in the side street, will that be the answer? No, because this is international. Option B, historical buildings. If they say there are several recent buildings in the side street, or all the buildings in the side street are recently constructed, will that be the answer? No, unless they say historical buildings. Or if they say, well, the historical buildings are not in the side street. They are on a different location. Even then, this will not be the answer. C, arts and crafts. Now, what are the words for arts and crafts? Painting, drawing, jewelry, uh, handicrafts, all because they use the word crafts, arts and craft. So what is it that you can get from side street? That will be the answer. What is not available in the side street? That will be the trap only. Okay, let's see. The narrow old side streets are great places for finding original pictures, jewelry and ceramics which won't break the bank, as well as local produce like fruit and vegetables. There's also lots of pavement cafes where you can have a coffee and watch tourists from all over the world go by. The oldest buildings in the area are on the main streets, including the city's first department store, built in the 1880s, which is still open today. Not C. A. Well done. No. B. Well done. Ah. Okay. That's good. Now please write a code. C A B. C, A, B. And correct answer is C. I repeat it. The narrow old side streets are great places for finding original pictures. Original pictures. Side streets are great place for finding original pictures, jewelry. Listen, just listen again. Great places for finding original pictures, jewelry, and ceramics which won't break the bank. Okay, and ceramics. Pictures, jewelry, ceramics. What is that? Arts and crafts. Now, come to international restaurants. Listen to them. And see, restaurants are not inter international. They said you can see some foreigners. Let's listen. As well as local produce like fruit and vegetables. There's also lots of pavement cafes where you can have a coffee and watch tourists from all over the world go by. Okay, pavement cafes. Pavement cafe is like Dhaba. Pavement cafes where you can watch tourists from all over the world. Now, are these cafes from all over the world? No. no. Who are from all over the world? Tourists. So this answer, international restaurants is wrong because there are some pavement cafes. Pavement cafe, you understand? Footpath ke upar restaurant banaya hota hai. Pavement cafe, like we have here sometimes. Okay. Okay. Uh, now they are going to discuss option B. Please listen. Hi. The oldest buildings in the area are on the main streets. The oldest buildings in the area are on the main street. So the question is about side street. Okay, that's why. Now, once you identify the wrong answers, you will become expert at multiple choice. Whenever you select a wrong op option, you are trapped. 
You just listen to our word and you say, okay, this is the answer, right? But you need to understand how, in what context are they discussing that word. Now, please come to question number 13. Clothes designed by entrants. Entrants means participants. People who are going to enter a competition, we call them entrants. Clothes designed by entrants for the young fashion competition must. Underline the word clothes and then must. Now, what is it that these clothes should have? A, modeled by the designers themselves. Modeled by, this, for example, if I designed a cloth or piece of cloth and I, I'm going to design it. I'm wearing this shirt and I designed it myself. So, modeled by designers, underline that. Modeled by designers. Option B, inspired by aspects of contemporary culture. So, inspired by contemporary culture. Contemporary culture means culture of the same time. You know, we use the word contemporary art. Okay, contemporary means of the same time. So, uh, inspired by contemporary culture. And C, made from locally produced material. For locally produced material, they can use the word cotton that grows in the area or fiber that is grown in this area or anything like that, okay? Now, let's see clothes designed must. What is it? I mean, this is the quality of clothes, that clothes should have this thing. Option A, modeled by designers. Option B, inspired by contemporary culture. And option C, made from locally produced material or locally produced material. The sheep market is a center for fashion and there's a policy of encouraging new young designers. The young fashion competition is open to local young people who are passionate about fashion. This year they've been asked to design an outfit based on ideas from the music and technology that's part of their everyday life, using both natural and man-made fibers. The garments will be judged by a panel of experts and fashion designers and the winning entries will be modeled at a special gala evening. The winning entries will be modeled in a special gallery or anything like that. Huh? No, not B. C. Well done. Excellent. Huh? A. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yeah. It is B, but I play this again. The sheep market is a center for fashion. And sheep market is a center for fashion. Please now listen on. And there's a policy of encouraging new young designers. The young fashion competition is open to local young people who are passionate about fashion. This year they've been asked to design an outfit based on ideas from the music and technology that's part of their everyday life. Music and technology from the part of their everyday life. Their everyday life means contemporary culture. Music and fashion, whatever they said, that is culture. And part of their everyday life is contemporary. Please listen to this again. ...about fashion. This year, they've been asked to design an outfit based on ideas from the music and technology that's part of their everyday life. Okay, now I tell you why C is wrong. Please come to option C. Using both natural and man-made fibers. Using both natural and man-made fiber. When they say natural or man-made fiber, but they didn't say locally produced. They only said natural or man-made fiber. Now, natural fiber from where? Man-made fiber from where? They did not mention that. So the word locally is not mentioned. That is why C is not the right answer. Now please come to option A. The, gar the garments will be judged by a panel of experts. And the garments will be judged by a panel of experts. Now let's see about modeling. Fashion designers and the winning entries will be modeled at a special gala evening. And the uh, winning, entry, winning uh, entries will be modeled at a special gallery. Now, they did not say that the designers are going to model them. They only said winning entries will be modeled in a special gallery by whom that is not mentioned. So, A is not the right answer. Now, please listen to it all. Uh, the code is BCA. Please write it down. BCA. The sheep market is a center for fashion. And there's a policy of encouraging new young designers. The young fashion competition is open to local young people who are passionate about fashion. This year, they've been asked to design an outfit based on ideas from the music and technology that's part of their everyday life, using both natural and man-made fibers. The garments will be judged by a panel of experts and fashion designers, and the winning entries will be modeled at a special gala evening. All clear? 
I'll share this audio recording with you and you got to just listen and practice. See that this is part two. Usually part two is not that complicated, but you never know if there are multiple choice questions. They are always like this. Question number 14. Car parking is free in some car parks if you. Now, what is it that you need to do or have for free car parking? Car parking is free in some car parks if you stay for less than an hour. If your stay is less than an hour, then car parking is free. So underline stay less than an hour. B, buy something in the shops, right? You know, next to Hafi Center, there is that chain one. You can park there, but if you buy, then parking is free. Otherwise, 300 rupees for parking, right? So buy something in the shops, then parking is free. And third condition, park in the evenings or at weekends. In the evening, parking is free or at the weekends, parking is free. Now you're just going to see when is parking free. Whenever they cost, for example, if they say, if you stay for less than an hour even, you will have to pay for parking. Will A be the answer? No. no. B, buy something in the, in the shops. Even if you buy something, still you have to pay for the parking. Even B is not the answer. C, park in the evenings or at weekend. Or if they say, well, in the evenings and especially at the weekend, you can enjoy parking absolutely free of cost. So then answer is C. So where parking is free, when or where parking is free, that is your answer. Parking at the sheep market is easy. There are plenty of pay and display car parking spaces on the roadsides, which are fine if you just want to stay for an hour or two. But if you want to spend the day there, it's better to park in one of the four underground car parks. It's not expensive, and if you can present a receipt from one of the local stores, you'll not be charged at all. If you After 6 p.m., many of the car parks have a flat rate which varies, but it is usually very reasonable. Exactly. Buy something in the shops. For that, if you present the receipt, then it is free. Please listen to it once again. Parking at the sheep market is easy. And, and by the way, when you guys practice, after doing one listening test, wherever you have the wrong answers, then you need to practice like this. The way I, this is what I call debriefing debriefing with the listening test and only the mistakes where you got the right answers good don't just go to the audio and do anything about it only for the wrong answers now let's see this is how you can do debriefing parking at the sheep market is easy there are plenty of pay and display uh, the code is abc abc car parking spaces on the roadsides which are fine if you just want to stay for an hour or two. If you want to stay for an hour or two, parking is safe. But he did not say parking is free. Safe parking and free parking both are different. So A is not the answer because he didn't say about it, whether it is free or not. Now come to option B. But if you want to spend the day there, it's better to park in one of the four underground car parks. It's not expensive. And if you can present a receipt from one of the local stores, you'll not be charged at all. You will not be charged. If you present the receipt from the local stores, you will not be charged. Now, come to option C. After 6 p.m., many of the car parks have a flat rate which varies, but it is usually very reasonable. Okay, after 6 p.m., flat rate. Flat rate doesn't mean they are free, okay? So, for multiple choice questions, my final verdict is you need to identify the wrong choices. I mean, you should develop the ability to identify the wrong choices, then you will be able to find the right answer. And if you only focus the right answer, you listen to a single word, and then you say, okay, this is the right answer. Because, you know, some students, they don't understand. They only pick up a word from the audio and they say, okay, this word is an hour, an hour is here, A is the answer. And then they, you know, they close their ears like this. Answer mil gaya mujhe like that okay so you should not do that you need to identify i mean for example when you practice ielts listening multiple choice and you know for question number 14 b is the right answer now you need to identify or discover why a and c are wrong answers once you do this discovery multiple choice will never be a problem for you you will be doing it like a b c d d thank you